Okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. Hi. It is Sunday. Uh, yeah, I forgot that OpenEMU has this, like, glitch where if you're using a multi-output device, which I do when I'm streaming, uh, it just completely glitches out and, like, won't open, won't work at all. Um, also, this mic is really loud. Uh, loud game, I guess. Um, I have a thing set up. It should be... Should be compressing it correctly. Let me see here. Just double check. It should be getting quieter when I speak, but for some reason, some reason it's not. That's fine. I'll just have it down. I don't know, minus minus twenty seems like a good spot for it. God. Also, for some stupid reason, a MacBook, when you if, you, if you use the touch bar and it decides to freeze up, you're just kind of screwed when it comes to adjusting brightness and things. Whatever, whatever, we're going to, we're going to go with it. Everything, my webcam's going super laggy, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know why it's going so slow. Huh. You know what? I will just, uh... Let's just go no. No webcam today. There. We can focus on the game. Why not? Uh, alright. So yeah. We are gonna play some Metroid Fusion. I, I got it to work. Got the audio to work. So hopefully this all works out. Uh, let's... Right. Right, 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 right. I, I remember now. Uh, start. We're just gonna go right up top. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for joining in. Uh, oh, wait, wait. There's no voice acting right. It's a Game Boy game. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. I think that's the one from Metroid 2. Oh, friends. Cuts, like, long cutscenes, okay. Oh, you missed. Ah, you got him. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 what's that? It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker. The parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when I dis when, when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Yeah, long, pretty long intro. I remember what well, it was two sentences in Super Metroid. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, filling me with delicious nacho cheese, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. This is a lot of stuff to just do off screen. I'm, I'm being vaguely reminded of Rise of Skywalker, where they're just like, uh, yeah, Palpatine's back. Opening crawl, we didn't need to see that or anything. So, you know, it's, it's all good. Then someone found a cure. Metroid. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. Seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. 
What, did it work? The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of early loading of the uh, story. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. You'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. Or, I think that was just Samus again. Now, whatever. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, our BSL research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my pow- This is literally a wall of text. Come on, guys. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship for someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time. Yep, your other CO, Adam. We know the guy. Ooh, I like this purple ship. I'm just gonna read it. I mean, why not? I probably could skip it, but it's like, I should at least know what the story is. Pretty simple, though. It's the same as the other one. We're investigating. Gotta listen to the computer. I, I am part, part alien now. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way up link from there. Is your objective cleared? Yes. Now go to the quarantine bay. Thank you. My goodness, so much so much early game story here. I it's it's we're we're into some some game here now. Also, yeah, apologies, no camera. I it was just I guess while running uh the emulator and um, streaming, it's just too much. Oh, I can't morph ball yet. Oh, come. Samus, Samus. Okay. No, I need missiles. I appreciate that it's all spin jumps rather than having to deal with trying to work it out. Main deck. Here we go. Uh, well, wait. Actually, I think I want to go to N. Right? Navigation room. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. Okay. I can shoot, right? Ooh. Oh, it's getting dark and spooky. I keep trying to morph ball. Uh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I'll find probably find it early enough. I keep looking at the camera like you guys can see me right now. Yeah, get him. Oh, no, it's one of those guys. It's one of those guys. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Morph ball yet. I gotta say, immediately, I love how this controls. It feels really good, and it looks pretty great. Like, um, you know, 16 bit classic. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me pause and see, uh, status. Regular suit, regular beam. Sleep. Oh, right. I remember, yeah, when they started the GBA. Um, especially with the, the GBA SP, the one that had, like, the folding screen. Oh, can't go back. Okay. Uh, 
It had the folding screen, but it wouldn't just go to sleep like the DS. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Oh, so it's the thing. Got it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any f uh, absorb. Yep, that's what I did. Oh, okay, so I want to get hit by the guys. Got it. You may also restore latent abilities this way. So it's more of a collectathon thing. Got it. And honestly, that makes it sound like um, this whole series has more of a, a Halo thing, where like Halo, it it was like, oh God, the Covenant, they're evil, but then it's or whatever. And it's like, no, they're trying to stop the flood or something. I don't remember. <laughs> I only played, like, the first game. Uh, the X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival... Oh, my goodness. Yes, my objective is clear. Get to the place. Do the thing. Go to the place. Do some shooting. I got it. Okay, ooh. Sometimes she gets kind of stuck. Oh, she can, like, lift herself up now. Nice. Oh. Yep. Meow. Save room. Oh, I like that. How it, like, lowers. Hey! I just realized I hit 900 views. Nice. Away from a thousand. We'll get there eventually. But, uh, yeah. 900, man. Feels good. Feels really good. Okay. Yeah, I'm already. I'm liking this a lot. Oh, Jesus, the zombies. The navigation room. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help you. So, head to the data room. Yes. Got it. Okay. Oh yeah, classic Metroid. The computer reminds me of the Breath Federation CO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else it would have surrounded Sounded sarcastic, but I made it sound dignified out of respect. Yeah, this is this is when they started adding lore to Halo, and it's like, alright. We only need to uh, a handful of characters here. We need Samus, Kraid, Ridley, uh, Mother Brain. That's it. We don't need this Adam. I don't need him. Energy tank, recharge. That is a save. Let me get the missiles before I save. Hmm. Being able to grab onto ledges feels real good. Hold on a sec, hold on. Need a room, there we go. Missiles. Hold R and press B. Oh, it's a hold this time rather than a toggle. And L is the uh, shot, got it. <coughs> Excuse me. Navigation. Go to the place. There's no elevators. Try to find another way. It's located there. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Try it out. I will. I think I'm good. I think I'm good, man. 
Alright, now I will save. Here we go. Secrets. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's a clever little way to do that. Oh. Nope. Ah, no. Let me back up. Let me back up. Ah, whatever. This is a very nice little tutorial area. The cutscenes are a little annoying, but like, the way that they are teaching you stuff is just, ah, beautiful. It's just super naturalistic. Whoops. Circle, aha! So that's like the dot rooms in uh, the last game, got it. Oh god. I don't like him. No thanks. Uh, oh, uh, no, get him, get him. Take him out. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's so many. Oh, I really like that. Actually, that's really cool. How you can see the the X parasites showing up to show you when they're gonna respawn, and it's got like it's like thematically great, and then mechanically it's like it gives me a heads up, like oh they're about to do it. It's like that's hmm, that's good. That that is some good design. I like that a lot. Whoa, sneaky. Come on. Grab the ledge. Here we go. A good wall jump mechanic, thankfully. Oh, hey, knee tank. Yeah, this is a lot more... Uh-oh. This is a lot more hand-holdy than the, the classic games were. I don't mind too much. Oh, jeez. It's an Almadillo. Oh, whoa. But, like, there, there's so much to this that just feels, like, polished in a way that the other games haven't as of yet. Stop. Stop it. No, thank you. Whoops. Ah, heck. Ah, uh, yeah, let's... Let's try again. I was being pretty sloppy there. I can do better than that, easily. I'm about to get an E-Tank, so I don't actually need to do that. Oh, come on now. Grab. 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 There you go. There you go, Samus. You're getting it. Here we go. I 
really love his little wiggly hands. Gives me with great joy. Oh, I got him. Oh, but I still gotta, still gotta get him. Big boy. Nightmare. Okay, there we go. Jeez. That was so hectic. I just... Crap. Yes. Hey, Morph Ball. Oh, yeah, because he was a little armadillo. Ah, oh, that's... That's nice. See, thematic. Thematic uses. I love it. That's, yeah, that's really clever. Ooh, and you can, like, crawl up into the Morph Ball. That's nice. system feels so, so evolved, you know, it's like, it's still a lot of the same stuff, but it's like, it's so polished up, I love, I, I love it, a great deal, From the get-go, it feels like what it, it feels like what Metroid fans are like thinking of in their head when they play the older games, which is always my favorite type of game. The um, the uh, real the realization of a of a older goal, like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild feels like what people thought of when they were playing the original Legend of Zelda games. And it's it's really, really good because of it. It's got all those... It's got that oh, great core, but also so much, like, polish. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta... Hey, you gotta go where you can be a ball! Mm-hmm. Uh, several of normalities, sector one. The simulation of SR388. Got it. Take elevator one. Oh. oh hold on now, I've got... I've got ball. So I'd like to use ball. Hello, yes, may I use ball, please? This definitely also feels a lot easier so far. Which is not like a, uh, a criticism, really. Like, I, I think one of the minor issues I have with the other games is just how brutally hard they were. And it's not, to, you know, the worst, but it's like... Ooh, it's rough. It's rough in a lot of spots. As you can probably tell from my, uh... My, my Metroid playthrough. My Super Metroid playthrough, even. Come on. Hold on. I need it over here. Yeah, I can imagine playing this on, like, the Game Boy Advance back in the day would have been amazing. Uh-oh. Never mind, we're not going in there yet. I guess I'm gonna get an ice suit later. Some. The cold varia.
Uh oh. Wait, oh, wait, what? Oh no. Ah! Zombie Samus. This is not good. This is not good. Not good at all. I also do appreciate so far the very clean hub we have. Cause like in, in the other games, it's it's pretty difficult to navigate. Although it would be if you were actually, you know, in in those places, I guess. Hmm. The main elevator leading to the center of severely damaged, unusable, unfortunately unknown agent. Hmm. Could it be? The zombie Sabus. Hmm. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Yes. Now get moving. Way ahead of you, bud. That was my plan to begin with. Save complete, though. I appreciate that it marks it with the color. Um, I think it did that in the, the Android. Although I might be wrong. It has been a week. Get out of here. Whoop. Yep. Yep, this is... This is that um, classic Metroid. Swamp. Trust that. Oh, I see. Okay, it's just blocking the fans. Gotcha, gotcha. Um. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Oh, jeez. It's the frogs. Uh oh. Oh no, my monitor! Crap, sometimes my monitor goes out like this. Hold on, hold on. I can just play it from over here. Ah, no, I died! God, turn back on, you piece of crap. There we go. Yeah, my monitor's been doing this every now and then. I don't know why, but just it'll shut off for no reason. And then after a few seconds, it'll just turn back on, so I don't... I don't get it. And if it does it again, I'm just gonna go, uh... Unplug and replug it, you know, classic power cycle. Thanks. Come back. Come back. Why won't you come back? Atmospheric stabilizer online. There it is. Okay, now hopefully my monitor won't just crap out again here. That's why I died last time. Okay, so. There 
they're giving out E tanks like candy. Oh my god. Those guys do a lot of damage. Alright, let's give this another shot. I just gotta be more careful with those guys. I'm being real risky. It's easy though, you know? It's, it's fast paced, run and shoot kind of game. So you just kind of quickly like go through it all. Without a care in the world. through these pretty quick. I mean, we're still pretty early in the game, you know, so. Who knows? I certainly do not. Oh, jeez. Okay, just hit with the one. Uh, those guys aren't as scary as I thought they'd be. Oh snap, it's a space pirate. From the from the, the other games. Whoa, that's lava. Let's uh just carefully we over that. Zoom. Just gotta get the various suit. Actually fusion, yeah. I I figured out, um, okay, and I knew this from before, it's just been so long since I've streamed with uh, an emulator, but um, basically, if on Mac you're using a multi-output device for your audio, for whatever reason, this particular emulator, OpenEMU, it, uh, it'll just not open. Like, it'll st it'll open for half a second and then it'll immediately crash before even, like, showing you the page. So I just had to figure out how to do it without that. And actually, as it turns out, the reason... Um, theoretically, we'd be using an emulator. I won't... Uh, I will not officially say. Uh, emulation is not illegal. They've shown... Every court case where they've tried to stop emulation has been uh, taken down. Um, but the yeah, it, it just it just won't work if you do that, and you basically have to restart without using that, like your whole computer. So wouldn't have been able to do it without completely restarting the stream yesterday. But I got it figured out, 
and um and what is what uh right i can still actually hear it i thought the problem would be I'd, i won't be able to hear it but actually because my monitoring device uh is a separate hardware mixer it's not actually giving giving feedback or double uh, redundancy at least i'm pretty sure you know you can tell me if it's like echoing the game audio basically but I, I did some tests earlier and it should be okay um but uh yeah my computer cannot handle the rom situation the the emulation situation and camera at the same time so this is a this is a no cam stream unfortunately but that's that's fine Wall jumps in this are much more doable than they were in Super Metroid, but they're still a little annoying. Still, still getting the hang of it. This is, as it says, my first playthrough of this game. All right, one more to go. I do appreciate um, one of the big problems the, the first game has since I was playing it yesterday is conveyance. Like, when you get items, it doesn't even say what the item is, which is very annoying. But I guess, you know, that's to save space. So, I, I guess I can't fault them for that. It was on the NES, and for an NES game, it's pretty impressive. I don't have the gravity suit. Ah, there we go. Let me. Now, like, is there a ledge there? No. Ah, dang it! Now I'm gonna have to slog my way all the way back through here. Only part way though. Actually, that's pretty nice. The footage might be chopping a bit. Yeah, sorry. It's just, I don't have, like... <laughs> I don't have a great computer, so having it run emulation and also stream is, uh, difficult. In fact, let's... Let me adjust some things here. I think if I... Do this... Then I... that like so yeah and that I think should be everything I can turn off hold on I'm gonna I'm also gonna just turn off a bunch of stuff on here yeah like so and we are also going to there we go okay yeah since I can't show the camera anyways I, I, I just turned it all off except for the chat and yeah I think we're good uh, Fusion is, yeah, it's really frustrating how much dialogue they added. They went from a game with very, very little dialogue, really just like the one screen, and then to a game with like a ridiculous amount of dialogue now. 
so you don't know. Come on, come on. Ouch. It is, it is nice that they animate the missile just bopping off. Just bouncing right off the thing. Ooh, what do we got? Ah, it's a trick. Trick is what we got. Give me the stuff. Charge me. Oh, I I almost never used charge beam, but everybody in the chat constantly told me like use your charge beam on the bosses. Fine. Oh boy. true if you like charge up and then like jump whatever spin jump that's all right I did not know you could do that that's interesting a few places I never went, so let's let's go back and see if we can do that. Or actually over here, I think. Oh, it said I wasn't in that room, which doesn't make sense. Uh, to the left! Powerful though. Ah, yeah, that's why I didn't go in there. Um, we're not the blue. Looks like just a C point. Yeah, I'm probably gonna come back down here, I'm guessing. So let's go back this way.
Okay, okay, we're doing it. We're going, we're going. Cannot. All right, recharge. And save. Save complete. All right, where you want me to go now? Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems particular. Sector 2, Trow. The tropical habitat shows abnormal blah blah blah. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He, or it, may be in Trow now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Yes. Start moving. I'll brief you at the Trow navigation room. Um, yeah, if... It feels like the exploration is still there, but it's on a more micro level. Like, you could explore the area in whatever order you want, but like... The entire business, you, you, you're very directed. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of n n noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. I mean, yeah, why not? It's a computer. They don't, they don't lie. Generally. Unless you program them to lie. In which case, you'll know how they're lying, because you've made the program. There you go. <laughs> Navigation room, baby. Oh, this is a pretty small area. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus, it's next mimicking you. I've named it the Sa-X. I believe the Sat X came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the the, the Sat X is definitely our biggest worry right now. The I'm gonna go with S A X. The S A X is mimicking you. If you see it, just run. Don't think about fighting. You're still very vulnerable to cold. Uh, like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with an ice beam. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But for safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own. Yep, got it. Yes. Good lord, he do be going on and on. I think I'm already full up on everything. Yeah, it's just good to be certain. Oh, hello. Bit. in here. One of these. Uh-oh. Hmm. Not really doing it. You fool! Guess I can't do that yet. Gotta get the high jumper or some. There we go. I'm gonna presume the security room is in the one tiny corner by itself. Uh, 
Can't do that. Can't do blue. Can't do you. Okay. Come on. Come on, please. Yeah, here- oh, hello. Security, level one unlocked. Blue hatch is now at- oh, that's what it- okay, I gotta unlock them. Figured it was gonna be like some kind of blue... Blue weapon or something. Blue bomb. But I guess, I guess it's just security stuff. Ooh, that was a stupid way to do that. Apologies. Oh my god. It's, it's much easier than the other Metroid, so I'm being really reckless for no reason. Apologies. I, I still need to be a little careful. So, let me just do that. Alright. I've gone kind of quiet. My voice is still kind of tired because I, I I just got up like a couple hours ago. But um, yeah, still here. Just just having a relaxing Sunday stream, I think. There should be something else in there. I don't know. Ah, ah. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, mm, that's a secret. I think I'll probably get the 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 morph bombs soon, anyway. So I think that's yeah, that's probably why those are all there. Yeah. 
Yeah, bomb. Whoa. That's not good. Oh, this way, huh? That's not at all what I expected. Okay. Oh, geez, decision time. Uh, left. Okay. Should not have gone left. That's fine. lot more to this little secret area than I expected. I guess that explains why the whole area is so small. Mm, bugs! Mm, bugs! Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord, I feel my stomach rumble. I have to grab some kind of snack. Break. Uh, what time is it? It's just about time to break. I'm gonna find a good spot to stop. Uh, I can't just stop in the middle of all this exciting action. Blue guy. Jeez, I need a lot more. No! Ah. Well, I guess that'll be a good spot to stop for now. Okay. Um, I will be right back in just a bit. I'm going to take a break, stretch my legs, have a snack. I recommend you all do that too. Get some water, you know, hydrate, kids. But uh, don't go anywhere. Don't touch the Earth dial. I'll be right back with more Super, or not Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion in, uh, in just a minute. All right, all right, BRB.
hey everybody, I'm back. I ate a breakfast burrito, did my usual 50, 50 jumping jacks and 10 push-ups. All that good stuff. Back to the game. Oh god, I'm all the way back here. Oof. I was... Yeah, very reckless. Once again, this game kind of encourages you to be reckless, you know? Hatches are open. Here we go. Let's see how quickly I can get back to where I was at. Oof. be like another secret here. I cannot... I can't believe that this room just has those four little guys in it. There has to be more. Appease my curiosity. Let's check this thing over here that looks like it can be bombed. Oh, I'm glad I did. It's a missile tank. Oh, okay, so this isn't even a secret area. This is just how you're supposed to go. That's why it's so large. I like that. They trick you into thinking that it's actually going to be a super short area, and in reality, it's much longer. That's clever. As well as this. Like, if you check that out, it's like, oh, I can do the missile tank, and then they, they do this on you. Let's go right this time. It's a save room. Well... I keep doing that. I keep going the way that just keeps leading forward and missing the like little, little bonuses or the save rooms or whatever. Can I? Can I? I can't. I can't. As far as I can tell. 
It's a little annoying doing this with the analog stick, but it's like that where the like crappy PlayStation D-pad it's like uh, that. PlayStation D-pad is the worst D-pad. It's just mushy, you know? those moments where you like leave the the terraformed area and go back into the space station parts it makes it feel so much more dramatic you know it, it makes the world feel just that tiniest bit more real even though it is artificial ironically making it more artificial also causes it to be less artificial. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, he's getting faster. That's all I get. He's just a harder dude. Fine. I guess I appreciated the challenge. Oh, it's these guys. They're spiky now. Hmm. I don't. What am I meant to do here? Yes. One of these. Uh, this is not good. I am stuck. to do something there. Crap, did I just mess up like hardcore? Morph ball charge. No, 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 no sleep mode. like a secret here or something, right? I, it can't just be that you're trapped. Ah, there it is. I was getting nervous there, but it's like, it's Nintendo. There's no way they let you have just a soft lock spot in your game. Options here. Uh, I'm gonna open it on its own. So let's let's try this. What do we got over here? Area that probably needs the gravity suit or the grapple beam. Zoom in through in this. Um. Or these guys. Big greedy. Ow, this, yeah, this area is way bigger than they made it out to be at first. Okay, I will come back over there because it feels like there's probably some more little things like a save point over here. Ah, uh, great. I didn't even think about that. Well... What do we 
got? What do we got? I don't need to worry about this blue guy. He ain't getting nothing special. Out. Let me out. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh I messed up. Oh lord he's coming. Oh lord he's coming. Oh lord. I so fast. Okay. Ooh, red. Red is good. What am I supposed to do then? I can't ball my way up. I can't unball while I'm in here. This area looks really Christmassy. Am I the only one who gets that vibe? It feels it's meant to be kind of a Christmas area. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Who knows? Who knows? Not hot. Eating! Nice. Half a second, anyways. Ah, uh, no, you need power bombs. Are at GameStop, and they say apparently there are Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and My Hero Academia Hawaiian shirts there. That's in my style. I like that. I got like, like a. Ah, uh, yeah! Yeah! See, that's how the wall jump should have been in Super Metroid. That was, like, actually doable. That, and now I'm not even doing it again. Ah, whatever. It only took me a couple tries. Aha, don't even gotta worry about you dudes. Messages app frozen is literally it's just text and fucking images. Come on. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. Okay. Back to the game. Apologies. I gotta, I gotta communicate sometimes. I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something important, but I guess we'll come back to that someday. Or it's like one of those things that's like hidden in a tiny corner in the wall. Oh boy, I sure love that. I don't like that that much. I'm just being salty. Yeah, that's, that's difficult, but that's like doable compared to Super Metroid where was it? Impossible. Too high up, you can't do it. Uh, that's too high up. This one, yep, you need the gravity suit. This. Or the grapple beam, whichever. I don't know. I do know why the, the door is down there. Sixty-nine health. Mm. Oh yeah, I guess I never did. All right, because I need the power bombs. I don't have them. No. Down. Right down. There was something here. I think again, it was something that I need. something. Missiles. <coughs> Could be overthinking that. Yeah. 
I don't know, man. I'm just really stuck. Where to go next? I think I already got those details. There's a dot here, which implies that there's some kind of secret. Ah, that's it. Eh, yeah, got him. Another boss. Another boss who we got this time. Ooh. Oh man. I don't like that. Oh jeez. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Okay. Oh, no, he got me. Ah, no, let me out. Let me out. Oh, I got a bomb, huh? Okay, I got you. Ooh, that was gross. Mm. Oh, he's getting shorter. Oh, ah, dang it. Adam. What do I get? What do I get? High jump and jump ball. Jump ball. Oh, that sounds cool. We gotta turn them on. higher. Now, yeah, we jumping. Ooh, we jumping. Yeah, I guess that is higher. It just yeah, it doesn't feel that much higher. I don't know. Okay, saving. Save or complete though. Uh, so I need no power bombs for that one. Oh. Oh no. There she is. Right, right, right. Think about it. Ooh, ooh, I don't like any of that. Thank you. Oh, wait, they're platforms. I gotcha. Whoops. Come on. I've gotten better at the wall jumps. But, whoop, they're still pretty tricky. 
Nope. Maybe I can. Nah, they're just being bugs. They're just being bugs. Jump is the ball now. Which blows my mind. That, as an ability, like, feels so kind of cursed, honestly. Like, jumping as the ball feels like something somebody's making, like, a ROM hack. You know? No, there is something here. Aha, missile tank. Nice, nice, nice. And that gets me back in here. Uh, yeah, I'll do that for now. I, I plan to come back and do other stuff. This game's really good. Uh, like, you know, first impression verdict. Like, this feels like what I wanted Super Metroid to be. And that's not to say Super Metroid wasn't great. I really loved it, but some, some about this one just feels so much more polished. And like, I don't know, it just feels, feels real good. You know? Um, that being said, the cutscenes are kind of obnoxious for certain. Oh, ooh, jump right out of it. But that's okay. I've certainly seen more obnoxious cutscenes in games. And, uh... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little scary. SAX is a very scary enemy. Oh, I could have gone in that water room. Ah, whatever. I'll come back later. For sure. Oh, and now we can big jump. Now we can big jump eat. So I can do this bit. Missed the tank. Ouch. That's fine. I'm about to go to the recharge room anyways. So you didn't know everybody. Nice. Saving. And let's see where this robot wants us to go. Samus, we've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. The SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4. AQA was several thousand X. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. I'm currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Is your objective clear? Yes, now head for Sector 4. Cool. We're moving right along. Sector, like, that's already, like, a third of the way through all these sectors. I presume they'll get bigger, but... The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have a reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. I mean, if it learns how to drive, we're, we're done for, dude. Okay. I presume this is where I'm gonna get the gravity suit, if this is the water, water section. Oh yeah, much larger. This sector has taken more damage than expected. I knew the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the, S that the SAX has a high degree of intelligence. 
find the X fascinating, especially this SAX. But I digress. This sector is home to a very large creature the researchers call Ceres. It's capable of moving and attacking at ultra high speed. The more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attributable to Ceres. No doubt the SAX released it, but I can't be sure why yet. Ceres has returned often to the breeding tank here. Its natural behavior must be to go back to it periodically. It's a valuable specimen, but you have been authorized to terminate it. If you don't, it may invade other sectors. Is your objective clear? Yes. While you're moving, be careful. Some broken power nodes have electrified the water, but we can't cut the power. Doing so would affect the whole station adversely. If you touch the water, you'll be electrocuted. Conserve energy as you go. Okay. stuff is restored. Here we go. Uh, yeah, let's go right. Sure. Don't touch the water. And don't wake daddy either. Whoop. Okay. Ooh, ooh, careful. Sam is careful. Sam is it sharp. Do it. Two wall jumps in a row. I can manage that. <laughs> or can I? There it is. Give me a missile. No missile? That feels rude. There we go. Jump. Ball jump. Hmm. Feels unnecessary. Oh hey, there's a missile tank too. Not so bad. Hey, a save room. Save rooms are a lot more plentiful in this one, too, as far as I can tell. Ow. Ow, why'd you do that? We could have been buddies. No, we're not. It's like you've gone away. Weird question, but you want to build a snowman. Doesn't doesn't have to be a snowman. The water effects are getting the stream a little bit. Apologies for my choppiness. Oh, this water doesn't look like it's busted up. 
Electrophile. Right, because they're like specific tanks. I gotcha. Saving for save tea. Should have some water. Hold on. There we go. Oh yeah. E-tank. Is that all that's over here? I mean, yeah. I appreciate it for certain. E-tanks are always appreciated, but uh, I figured this was just where I was meant to go, so now I'm a little confused. Yeah, don't worry about that guy. Whoops. Up, up, up. Give me a slowdown, which is strange for GBA. Not unheard of. Yeah, it's a little weird. And now he's large. And in charge! That was just a tank. Or the fish. Hold on. Ah, I've solved your your puzzle. Jeez, I was very close. It knocked me right in the water. It's turn before you jump. <coughs> oh god, sorry. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, really? Is that it? Is that all this room is? Oh my god, Samus. Turn. Turn and then jump, you pillock. There's sometimes where she just refuses to jump, too, which is annoying. That's it. This is just a shortcut, maybe for later. I don't know. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Pump control unit. That sounds like what I need. I need the speedy. I need the speed. Oh. Right, I can just I keep forgetting I can just jump and bomb. It's so like weird for this series. But you can do the 
blue, huh? Hmm. Sometimes at least, I'm not sure. Hmm. we go. Uh-oh. Oh no. This looks very dangerous. Do not worry about the bones. Do not worry about the bones. Fight is, yeah. So Whoa, yeah, he's so fast. Oh, this is really gonna suck. Ooh. Just kind of got to get a lucky hit on his head. Or, oh, okay, I see. Gotta wait for him to slow down. Okay. This guy is not nearly as formidable as they make him seem. This is actually pretty easy. Ah. Oh, he's fat. He's gonna give me the fast runnies because he's fast. I see. The last one jumpy, so he's the jump guy. Speed booster power regained. I don't know what the button for run is. Come on, Samus. Samus, please. Why is this how you live? I just gotta remember that's how it always is. God, 
I'm still doing the thing. The, uh... You know, that classic thing. The, the jumpy with the explosion rather than just jump. You can just jump this ball now. You can just be a jump ball. You can just, you can just jump his ball. You can just jump his ball. Whoops. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, God, no. No. Ah, oh, my jump. I messed up the jump. Oh, my God, let me out. Let me out. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, that was terrifying. They do that to me. Yeah, over here is what I want. Water level lowered. Nice. Whoops. Up. Oh. Got a little impatient. That's my bad. It seemed like they would play stickers. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be careful. Uh, uh mm, sorry. I had to scratch my eye. Yeah, yeah, they still hurt. Nope, what am I doing? I just assume because they're red, but it's probably just like a level three door or something. That I will find out about later. How are you, Bottoms? Alright. Turn first. That's the thing that's always throwing me off in this one, is you just gotta turn first. I don't need to come up here at all. Why did I even come up here all this time? Just went in a big old circle. Jump, jump. Fall. And fall. Cool, there we go. This room, I can do some stuff in. Now that it's washed up. Uh oh. Whoa, okay. Oh, totally, yeah. It's all good, Chris. I'm just, you know. I'm just going through it. I'm really loving this game, honestly. Like, this is currently my favorite Metroid, and it makes me even more excited for Dread if this is, like, the level that Metroid has been at. Because, like, the most Metroid I played as a kid was, like, Metroid 2, which is... It's pretty clunky. It's not terrible. 
I have certainly played worse games. But it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit clunky, and as a kid, I didn't have any clue what was happening. So I just kind of wandered around and looked for missile tanks. Oh, that's why. Do I even need to... Oh, okay, you just hold. You don't even need to hold B. Oh, okay. Dup, 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 dup. Oh boy, I could use a little health. A little health would be nice. Ah, dang it. I don't think, maybe, I don't know if the run can go across screens. Oh, yeah. It even only barely activated just there, so... Yes, it can. Ah! Dip dang Daru. <sighs> Alright, well, that's a good spot to take a break, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna stretch my legs, get some water. You guys do the same. Drink some water, hydrate yourself. I'll run an ad. Oh, thanks for hosting me, Chris. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Be right back. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. Be right back with more Metroid Fusion in just a minute. Okay, okay.
Hey everybody, I am back, and I just realized, I don't know why, whoop, dropped my controller. Hold on, I just realized since uh, I'm not able to do camera for this game, it actually means that I can really lounge back in my chair in a way that would look really silly on camera, but uh, it's real comfortable to actually play in. So let me just get comfortable and, yeah, awesome. Oh, this is, this is great. Having a good old time. All right, let's see. I'm not gonna zip through quite as fast. I'm gonna try and farm these guys for some health. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, okay. I, yeah, I just need some health. When I get into these areas, Here we go. There we go. And we're gonna grab this. All right. And uh, well, I suppose I could have been over there. Oh well, just wasted a few seconds, honestly. That's that's where I messed up last time. Should have been careful about quickly I did that. Ah, almost. Come on, kids. Let's go. health from that? Man. Okay. Ah, recovery room. Oh, thank you. Recharge room, whatever. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Fully stocked up and ready to go. Oh, I probably need like super missiles for that or something. Ain't that always the way? missiles cuz i i'm trying to trying to do one of these there we go. Jeez. give it to me give me not yeah there we go Can I 
bomb him. Ah, great. Maybe, oh, this seems bombable. No, I think I just wasted all my missiles, is the problem. Oh, well. Uh. Well, let's try somewhere else. I can't. These guys are in the way. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Been real, real gunked up lately. I don't know what's up. You know, I get it. I do appreciate the, like, pink for the rooms you've checked, but also it's really hard to see the red uh, on top of the pink. Uh, probably would have been a good idea to get a different color on that. Missiles don't even work on these guys. Hmm. I charge them. I got to keep missing. No. Huh. the one way. Hmm. I want to be quite careful, but I don't accidentally harm myself. As there were a lot of open wires <clears throat> in every direction. Lion. just fine and then suddenly just stop in the middle of a jump. I don't get it. I really don't, but maybe it'll make sense later. One thing I appreciate about this game, <clears throat> even though it is pretty handholdy, still, uh, it is, that's just in terms of exploration, which could be difficult, but it didn't have a time where it was like, push right to go right, push left to go left, hit A to jump. It like, it assumed I could figure that part out on my own. So I appreciate its level of confidence in me on that aspect at least. All right, I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm going to head back to the navigation room. Which, i that's the thing. Yeah, I appreciate that the navigation room is there if I want. If I'm having trouble figuring out where to go, I can always do the navigation room. It's good, it's good as an optional thing. And, yeah, you do have to do it at the beginning of each area, which is a little obnoxious, but... I've seen much worse tutorials 
I'm looking at you, Paper Mario Origami King. We're literally... There's like 70 tutorials, and each one is just like... Did you know that if you push left, you'll go left? I'm like, no, I didn't know that. Thanks, Olivia. Once you get past the tutorials, that game is great. But it's like, those tutorials are obnoxious. To say the least. Alright. Where are we going? Where are we going? Actually, thinking about it, if there's no camera on me, I still have my lights on. Um... Well, okay. Uh... I'll leave those... Well, no, no. I'll turn them off to save power and stuff. One sec. Okay, uh, I'll probably turn them back on when I do my outro, when I go to face cam. But, uh, yeah, for right now, they don't need to be on. Because y'all can't see me anyways, because I, I can't do the camera right now. All right. Weapons and energy fully restored. And I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna see what the navigation room tells me. Ah, save completo. That. All right. What do I need to do? So, Sarahs have been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face the SAX yet. That's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time, it's a missile upgrade data. You desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room in Sector 2 is blocked by still more SAX activity. I note a deliberate activity pattern as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Samus, it looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3. Okay, yeah, so I wasn't even supposed to hang out in this sector. You will find the PYR data room on your map after using a navigation room there. That's gonna be the fire one, right? Py pyre? Pyro? Yeah, so we're going to Sector 3. Nice! Yeah, I'm, I'm going, doing pretty good. I don't think I'm halfway through the game, but I'm, I feel like I'm a good third. It is like a GTA game, so they could only be so long, you know? Hold on, I'm going to text my roommates. Okay, okay, here I am. What do you got to say, buddy? Thankfully, the Axe have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow the SAX and X parasites into the area. You're left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. The data room is here. As I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Careful, Samus, you'll see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green. Release the lock and proceed to the data room or download. Super missile data is ready. Your firepower will triple. First, activate green hatches, then go to the data room. There are no other heated areas in this route, so turn back if you enter one. I appreciate that.
Yeah, I really appreciate them letting me know. It's like the you don't have to power through any of the dangerous rooms. So if you run into any, don't don't worry. You're just on the wrong path. That that's the kind of thing I need from handholdy stuff like that. Like just tell me straight up. Like if there was a friend here. You know, what would they say? That's not like a spoiler, but they're just like, oh, by the way, this, d don't worry about this or that. It's like, yeah, thanks. Thank you. That's what I, that's what I want to know. Hmm. This game's pretty good. It's like, it's handholdy, but it's the, it's a, only the tiniest bit obnoxious. And like, it's, whoops. Didn't need to be in there. Okay. Oh, there's a secret in here, isn't there? You can jump as ball, man. I just, I still can't get over that. You can jump as ball. That is like the most always wish a Metroid would have done it kind of thing ever. Flip and jump as ball. Right. Always wanted to jump his bowl. Uh, not quite. Alright. Last that. Last that. Last that. Wow, yeah, even those. Alright. It's time for a run. Just barely, there we go. Ah, I can't even get through that door yet. Oh, I need to jump up and hit that, I see. Aha! I did it! Green hatches, now active. And I know there was a bunch of green hatches in the earlier areas. I'm just gonna go back through after I've unlocked all of the hatches. I presume is what they want you to do anyways. It is real weird that they can, they can do the, they do the little rocket jumps. Like jumping around, whatever, but like, they, they show them having like rocket feet, which is weird. Oh wait, I just gotta. Oops. And... Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Doing okay. If I think if I wall jump this, I might be able to. No, not quite. No, no, no. Oh, snap. It's these guys, but they actually come at you. She do? Every now and then, she just kind of doesn't jump. I think it's because I'm using an analog stick instead of a D-pad. So it's like something I'm doing is canceling it. I can't see for certain. No, need the super bombs for that.
This is some part of this is gonna be possible, right? Oh, a run section, eh? <clears throat> well, let's let's run it up. Okay. It's through there. Whoop. I saw a uh because these guys remind me of the Graboids from Tremors. Um someone tweeted, uh Tremors is just doomed for smart people. And you know what? Can't deny it. I love Dune and I love Tremors. Um but Tremors definitely feels like the more intellectual of the two. Two pipes. Okay. Okay, something sneaky up here. Where are we where are we up to? What's the trick here? Ah dang it. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're past the thing we were at earlier. Gotcha. Oh, jeez. This room looks pretty toasty, too. Not super heated, but definitely heated. Well, I'm at the download room. The data room, excuse me. Oh, is it just super now? I don't get regular missiles anymore? to have been a secret over there, right? Yeah, there's some up there. I can't get to it right now. Oh. This exploded. Interesting. Saving. Uh-oh, something tells me a boss fight's coming up. Something about this. Feels very boss fight. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? These are just super missiles now. Missile tank acquired! I'll save since I got the missile tank. This is pretty fun. I might honestly continue this playthrough during the uh, the week. Cause I'm I'm having a really really fun time. I'm liking this game a lot. Okay. Some snaps. So on. Uh, wait. That looks like some kind of secret. Some happen in here, maybe. Oh, yep, yeah. this guy. Oh, jeez. Ouch. No, you don't do that. Oh, man, this guy's tough. Why am I getting attacked by a security bot? Goodness. Ah! Oh, 
up on top of him as well. Nah. Oh man. That's really tough. I would assume from a meta standpoint... Yeah, I'd have to assume from a meta standpoint that, um... I'd have to assume from a meta standpoint that, like, he's... Oh, I see. It doesn't trigger until you see that. Gotcha. Um... That, like, it's something to do with the super missiles, but, like, I don't know. Idea. I'm so confused on this one. I think I'm just gonna look at a walkthrough, honestly. Just a minute. Just a minute, I'm looking up a walkthrough. There's IGN. I'd rather have the polygon one if there's if there is one. I'll t take the IGN one, I guess. I way prefer polygon for uh, walkthroughs, but walkthrough. Okay. Let's see here. I want the walkthrough, please. Okay, it looks like... Looks like we go through all of the sectors. We go through it all, like, a couple of times? So, yeah, I'm about a third now. Uh, I'm in sector... Three. So I want to see where the people are. I want to fight. I want to fight this boss boy. Uh, pit blocks. That's some of those guys. That's right. Uh. Okay. Violently quaking, security robots, quickly jump. Wait for the robot to walk underneath you and tap its leg, signaling the launch of a fire mortar. When it does, be ready to send a few missiles. Okay, so you gotta hit him while he's shooting, shooting out the, the fireball. Got it. Let's do this. Oh. 
which I tried to do, but it just didn't quite work, so. Oh, jeez, he's angry. Get here. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got... Oh, it's right after he fires the mortar. Okay. Oh my God, this is so hard. Yeah, I'm lucky to get in like one hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a hard boss, but it's doable. Let's uh let's give it another shot. Goodness. So, so fast. So fast and so strong. I'm proud of him, but uh, also. Oh, I did some damage. I did, he was starting to look a little crumpled. So I just gotta do that, but less, you know, dumb. All right, let's give that. Give that another shot. Hold on, I gotta go over here, trigger it. Oh, geez, there he is. Oh yeah, okay, that worked out. Let's just watch him. Oh, he ran away. Like a little wussy. Okay. That was, okay, once you got the hang of it, he didn't have a lot of health was the, the saving factor with that one. Then this over here was most definitely a runny door, right? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna bet this is run door, right? Oh no, what is that? Screw attack, I think? Okay. That one's running. That's a running one. And that's not. I also appreciate with the X Parasites, it gives them a thematic reason to give every enemy a health or item drop. It's like, yeah, you're just absorbing the Parasite. It's like, well, hey, that's nice. That's pretty nice of them to give me some... Ah, dang it. Ah, oh, no! I... I have to fight the guy again. Ah. Okay, okay. 
Beat him, and then I was so loosey goosey with my health after that. Come on, then. not the way to do this. Oh, wait, maybe actually. What is he doing? Oh, that's creeping me out. Ah, I could have got him. Could have just barely got him. Yeah, I gotta play that smarter. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. I wish I could be wandering free, mm, part of their world. Get it, get it, take it, take it. Stupid. It's very stupid to do it that way. Frick, was that the my like one sh shot? The one time I was able to manage it. <sighs> okay, okay. I will give it. I'm gonna end the stream at two. Um. But so like regardless of what happens. But uh, yeah. Ouch. Little tippy tacks. Do it, Samus, just do it. Ah. Yeah, that one's really hard. It's like, it's not hard once you like get in the rhythm, but it's like there's just so much to dodge. And the jumps are really inconsistent in this game. I don't know if it's like because I'm using the analog stick or what, but like half of the time she just won't jump. She'll just do like a little weird like hop. There we go, I got it, I got it. Ugh, I only got a hundred energy lose though. Can go back this? Oh, I can't. Now, okay, okay. I'll go use the recovery room and the save room. And honestly, you know, that's probably a good place to, to call it for the stream, I think. Uh, I might, I might keep doing this during the week, you know, Metroid Dread is coming soon, and I feel like I could finish this up in, like, a stream or two.
Like, I've been playing about two and a half hours. Let's see what how long to beat has. How long to beat Metroid Fusion? How long to beat Metroid Fusion? No, give me how long to beat Five and a half hours? I can totally do five and a half hours. That does mean I'm about halfway through. Okay, well that's where I'll call it for this stream, but uh yeah. I think uh I think I will continue this on Tuesday as like a special thing. Um but yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh let me actually I'll switch to face cam. And turn my light back on. Hi, backlight isn't on. So it doesn't look super great, but um I want to thank you guys very much. Excuse me. Sudden, sudden air. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for inviting me into your home, computer, tablet, laptop, gaming console, Apple, TV, Roku. However it is you watched today, whether it was in the past, the present, or the future with the past broadcast tab or the archive channel, which is Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. Three words, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. Uh, that and my personal YouTube Iggy in the Ape are linked down below on the browser version. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid. I hope you'll follow me and subscribe here. Use your Twitch Prime sub, which if you have Amazon Prime, connect the two accounts. You get a free sub every week. I hope you'll uh, use it on me. In fact, use it on me. That's a demand, not, not a request. Thank you very much, because I know you will. With all of that said, I hope you'll join me for the next Metroid Fusion stream, which will be Tuesday. And uh, if no one else has ever told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me see if there's anyone to uh, to move on over to. Let me see if there's anyone to, to raid over to. One moment. I think uh, Loco and the Skeleton should be streaming right now, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, nobody I know. Hmm. Well, uh, let's just find a random Metroid stream. Anybody else playing Metroid Fusion? Uh, Super Metroid, sure. So that's Ruyarin. So this is a rando, but uh, I hope, I hope that you let him know I sent you. I hope you have a great time. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday everybody all right here we go uh slash raid all right cool let know i sent you have a good stream apologies if they end up not being you know, great or anything i don't know them but uh have a good one everybody goodbye goodbye goodbye